The Connect Combine tool allows you to join objects together at their endpoints or intersections. You can even trim or extend objects together with the appropriate tool mode selected. This creates a more efficient drafting process and can greatly speed up the time it would normally take to modify existing drawings. You can use the Connect Combine tool with many Vectorworks objects including lines, arcs, polylines, polygons, NURBS curves, or even roof faces. To activate the Connect Combine tool, select it from the basic tools palette or press Option L on your keyboard. Once it is the active tool, you will see five modes for the tool in the toolbar. Single Object Connect, Dual Object Connect, Dual Object Combine, Multiple Object Connect, and Use Vertical Thickness of Subject Roof Face mode. The first mode, Single Object Connect, will trim or extend the selected object to another object or boundary. Only open objects, like lines, arcs, or open polygons can be connected. Closed objects, like rectangles and circles, cannot be connected and can only be used as boundary objects. To connect objects using this mode, select the Connect Combine tool from the basic palette and choose Single Object Connect mode from the toolbar. Next, click on the object you wish to connect and then click on the second object or boundary. The first object should be resized to join the second object. This mode can also be used to connect multiple selected objects to a boundary by selecting multiple objects and then holding down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard when you click on the boundary object. The next mode of the tool, Dual Object Connect, can be used to trim or extend two objects and connect them at their endpoints or intersections. Again, only open objects can be used with this tool mode. To connect two objects, select the Connect Combine tool from the basic palette and choose Dual Object Connect from the toolbar. Now, click once on the first object to connect and once more on the second object. The two objects will automatically extend or trim to join at their endpoints. This can be useful when making shapes from guidelines or when working with roof faces. If you are using this tool on NURBS curves or surfaces, you will see an additional dialog box that will be discussed later in this video. If you are using the single object or dual object connect mode to connect roof face objects, you can select use vertical thickness of subject roof face mode to adjust the thickness of the second clicked roof face to the thickness of the first clicked roof face. This is useful when making custom roofs or more complex designs. The third mode, Dual Object Combine, is similar to the Dual Object Connect mode, only instead of leaving you with two objects, the tool will actually trim or extend the selected objects and combine them into one single object. To use this mode, select the Connect Combine tool from the basic palette and choose Dual Object Combine mode from the toolbar. Then, click once on the first object, and then click once on the second object. The two objects will be trimmed at their intersection or extended at their endpoints, and you will be left with one object. With the fourth mode, Multiple Object Connect, you can connect multiple open objects to one boundary object with minimal clicking. Select the Connect Combine tool from the basic palette and choose Multiple Object Connect from the toolbar. Then, click first on the designated boundary object and it will highlight in red. Next, click on the object to be extended or trimmed. This will connect the object to the boundary. Continue to click on objects to connect to the boundary. Each consecutively clicked object will be connected to the boundary until the tool is changed or a blank area is selected. This mode makes it easy to quickly change multiple objects in your drawing without having to adjust values or settings for each individual object. Finally, this tool can be used even on complex objects like NURBS curves or surfaces. If you are trying to connect or combine these kinds of objects, you will receive an additional dialog box. These options will help specify how the objects are connected. The first mode in this dialog box, Midpoint, will connect or combine the two objects by joining the object's endpoints midway between the objects. The Blend mode will connect the two objects by creating a similar object between them. The third mode, Position Matching, 
We'll connect the objects by moving the first object's selected endpoint to the second object's selected endpoint. Tangency matching mode will connect or combine the objects by making the endpoint of the first object tangent to the selected endpoint of the second object or boundary. The final mode, curvature matching, will connect the objects by making the first object's selected endpoint match the curvature of the second object's selected endpoint. As you can see, the Connect Combine tool can be very useful in a variety of situations. From 2D line drawing to more complex organic 3D shapes, this tool offers you a quick and easy way to join objects and to continue drafting efficiently.